Hello everybody and welcome to Into the Breach, the latest game by the developers of FTL, who apparently, after going into hiding for seven years, came out, got the gang back together, and made this. It is a tactical, top-down, almost like chess with kaiju type of game, I think is the best way to describe it. You play as the futuristic humans who have lost a war against invading aliens known as the Vec, big old insect things, and you send your mechs back in time to a crucial point in the battle in order to protect some uh, some key assets from uh, being destroyed. Okay, now I was playing a backup game, so yeah, we're going to start a new game. You can have a look. So this is the starter menu. You have multiple um, start things. We're going to play on normal difficulty. So easy is like, you know, normal difficulty. Hard is unpleasantly brutal and actual hard is it's, it's pretty much just literally impossible so we're gonna play on normal um you can play with various mech sets as you can see you can change your squad and such um you can also unlock these little coins here which allow you to buy to purchase um new mech sets and as you see i have five coins so i can actually purchase um one of these other sets i haven't done that yet we're gonna play on the vanilla one for now uh, just just so we have it, you know. Uh, but yeah, you, you are able to, to purchase other loadouts, so you can change your gameplay quite a bit, which is really nice. Uh, I, I, I do like that. Okay, so at the beginning, we have our combat mech. He's a close quarters melee specialist. As you can see there, he punches things and moves them. We've got our cannon mech that shoots them for one damage and pushes them. And we've got our artillery mech that shoots the central tile for one damage and pushes the ones next to it around. So what we're going to do here is we can pick our new time traveler and select which mech he's going to go into. So let's randomize. Let's see. Mech gains armored. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to give that. I think we'll take Abe Ismayu here. We're going to throw him in this mech, but we're not going to call him that. He's going to be called. He's going to be called Dr. Punchies. There we go, because he's going to do a lot of punching. Okay, Dr. Punchies and I are ready to go back in time and save the world. And here we go, plummeting out of our great skyship all the way down to the ground. Now, I have played this before, so I have the Desert Island unlocked, but you will always start on the temperate one here. Uh, Dr. Punchy said something about determination. So we're going to play on Archive Inc. The museum island recreates old Earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. That's right. So Earth is basically run by these corporations and we've got to look after our corporate islands here. So we've got Dewey Adams. I think that's what his name was. And he's shown up at the nick of time. The Vecco overrunning our island archive. The old Earth relics still here still have some fight in them. They could help us. And that's right. So... This is basically the tactical map. Here's the corporate HQ. Here are the areas we can go to initially. Um, you can only move to adjacent tiles. Now, there are various resources we should quickly just discuss. So up here's the number of people you save. This is essentially just your score um, for the overall run. Good defense is very important. Uh, you'll see that in-game, but the VEC will attack buildings and any damage to buildings will reduce your power grid. That's right, like the amount of power available to you. And this is the percentage of those buildings, the percentage chance rather, for those buildings to resist that attack. If this number hits zero, you lose. Now you can win it back, for example, in Old Earth Park here, by completing bonus objectives. So here we'll get a star if we kill seven enemies and we'll get a, a lightning bolt, an energy point, if we protect the power generator. And you can see there's also a tactical thing here warning us about tidal waves. So these are reactor cores. You can find these by eating Tide Pods or um, by uh, capturing time capsules. I mean, whichever comes first, right? And those are used to upgrade your mech's various components. You can install one here, and then you can you know, improve your health or power up a weapon more. Every mech can take two weapons, which I really do like. And then reputation, the little stars over there, are essentially your currency. Once you complete an island, you will be allowed to uh, spend that reputation and you can buy new weapons, you can buy more power, more reactor cores, you name it. Alright, but enough babbling, I think we should go, do we go to Exhibits Archive or Old Earth Park? Uh, let's go check out the tidal waves, it's kind of a cool mechanic. So here we get our basic overview of the mission, you can see the map uh, at the start before you drop in and there are, that's where the VEC are going to spawn. Now ultimately this is a game of positioning, hence why I said it's a bit like sort of chess with kaiju. So what we're going to want to do here is drop our punchy mech over there, our tank over there, and our indirect support artillery at the back where he's nice and safe. We can mouse over them to see where they'll be able to move to, and we can hit confirm to begin. So now the turn order is a bit weird. The vet get to move first, and they will immediately move to attack us. First the environment goes. You can actually see that up here under attack order, which we'll be able to see just now. So these dudes here, these, uh, these uh, little beetle looking guys, they have indirect fire capabilities. So, for example, he is currently targeting that as well as him. Now, if even one of them hits it, it will damage that building 
destroying the lightning bolt, or destroying the energy point rather, from our grid, unless of course it is resisted, which would be nice. So what we need to do now is prevent them from laying down their attacks. You actually kind of want them to attack you ideally, but yeah, we'll make this work. So, at the moment, we have two options available to us. Either we can push the Vec out the way, and they'll just continue their attack, or we can try and kill them. Now, I'm thinking, right, that what we're going to want to do here... Also, if you stand on a tile at the end of a turn, the uh, unit that is standing on it will take damage, but it will stop the enemy from spawning into the area. And you only need to survive three more turns, that's when you'll be able to retreat. You don't need to kill everybody, you just need to make it through. So I think what we're going to do here right off the bat is we're going to use our melee mech here. And we're going to punch this guy for two damage, but that's going to knock him into this one, which will deal an additional one damage to him. There we go. Also, since we hit him on a forest, it catches on fire. And if you look at the attack order, you'll see that fire damage happens first, then the environment, then the enemy actions, and then enemies emerge, coming out the ground, that is. So this here will happen before the enemies fire and before the enemies come out. So what we can do now, I'm trying to think what the best move here is. I think we should take our tank, block this enemy from coming in, and we're going to shoot and kill that kaiju. Uh, not kaiju, what are they called? <laughs> Vec. So we're going to use our indirect artillery here. He can't fire in the squares next to him, so we're going to use him to fire here, pushing this insect out of the way. And this shows the other important aspect. The Vec will continue their attack regardless of whether or not uh, they are now facing their previous target. So, for example, if I pushed him into line of another Vec, he would attack that Vec in the next turn. So it's a good way to sort of realize, you know, you don't have to stick to uh, moving the enemies. Now, the Vec are not, or you don't have to stick to killing the enemies, you can just move them. Now, Vec are not amphibious, they will die if they fall into water unless they are flying, like these two here are. Uh, your, your mechs can fall into the water, they'll survive, but they cannot fire, so they become a bit useless. So what we're going to want to do here is kill off this Scion, because as you can see, the Soldier Scion here gives all other Vec 1 HP as long as the Scion is living. And we can't live with that, unfortunately, so we're actually going to go ahead, move this guy down here, and lay down the punch. Actually, you know what, let's undo the move. I'm thinking for a second. It might be worth, actually, right, moving him here, killing this one, uh, who's laying down the indirect fire right now, and then using this guy to push him over to that one, because he'll die on the next turn when the other Vex spawn. See, now this does present us with a problem, of course, because he is still using indirect fire, even though he's shifted down, he's still going to hit this building. Sorry, my phone went off there for a second. Uh, just going to turn that off. <laughs> so this Vex we still need to deal with. So right now, we have two options available to us. We can bump him over, uh, but we're probably going to want to deal with the building first. Huh, I'm thinking now. I've been talking too much and I've been focusing. So we're going to do something kind of sneaky, which is reset our turn. You can do this once per battle. You use your time dilation device to push things back, and this lets us carry on the turn. So what we're going to want to do, actually, I'm thinking, is move both of these dudes out the way. So we're going to move him like we did previously, knock him down so he's doing nothing of any value, and then... I think... Can you move here? You can't. That would have been cool. Um, what's the best way to do this, guys? Maybe we move him here, kill the... Yeah, yeah, I see what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to move him here, kill this one, right? Which is going to reduce this guy's health, because the passive effect is now gone. And then what we're going to do is take our tank and fire into this one, which will push him into here, damaging our mech. But since he's armored, he should be able oh, to absorb the shock. That's only from direct fire. I forgot. If we have a look here, armored, uh, natural armor, weapon damage to units reduced by one, all other damage, push blocking fire, is unaffected. Whoopsies, did not think about that. That's okay though, we should make it through the next turn just fine. Only one more Vec will spawn, and he shouldn't do too much damage to us. Okay, it's a, it's a firefly guy. They're not too hard to deal with. Okay, fantastic. So this is actually going to be a pretty easy win. We're just going to move him over here, punch the Vec into the fire. It will die at the beginning of the next turn. Uh, we can actually move our, our artillery up on here, shoot that Vec. Yeah, take that, asshole. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him this turn, but that's okay. Um, he's going to just shoot the mountain, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, but you know, we could actually just end this a turn early and kill him off. Get the, get the pilot some experience as well. As long as your mechs don't die in the battle, it doesn't matter 
if they take damage. They will simply just be repaired before the next fight. It, it's only important that you keep them alive. They can't. Their health can't hit zero, or they will just die, and the pilot will die that's in them. So any experience they gain or anything will be lost. Now, unfortunately, we didn't kill seven enemies despite our best efforts, but we did protect the power generator, so we get a bit more power to our grid. I think the only, well, the only place we can go next is the exhibits archive here, so why don't we get that? We've got to defend two tanks, they're stationed over there, and there are some VEC in the region. Okay, cool, let's drop our, uh, our mechs in and see what we can see. Rest of you stay out of my way, yeah, best believe. Okie dokes. Now, this guy, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. This guy attacks in a straight line, so even if he's over there, there's no range, it's kind of like a tank, there's no there's no limitation to his range. But he does attack in only a straight line, whereas these flying guys attack directly in front of them. So, I'm thinking we can't use these mechs this turn, you do eventually gain control of them, but apparently not yet. So, I'm thinking here, and what we should do, push this guy over one, right, and get our artillery out over here, and... Oh wait, damn it, I was gonna fire into here and move it, but it's gonna damage our guy. That's not the end of the world, though. Uh, yeah, that's actually okay, because then what we can do is take this gent, and... Oh, shit. Oh no, I screwed this one up. We're gonna have to reset. <laughs> I, to, in my defense, I haven't played very much of this. Uh, I even though that's not much of a defense, I realize. But you know what? We're just gonna let it happen. So actually, let's get our tank fire over here, move him out the way, move this guy over, kill that, and then I think we're just going to bump Mr. Shooty over here down one. Also setting that forest on fire, which could be a possible asset in the future. He's gonna shoot the mountain. Zoop. Fantastic. We don't. We mustn't let them hit the tanks, or we'll lose our reputation points. That's far more important in this mission than anything else, really. Oh crap, and they got a Scion. Mmm, those extra points really do help them. Okay. Now, how do we want to do this? Ooh, I've got a sneaky plan. I've got a very sneaky plan. Yeah, this should work, actually. Um, first things first, I think we can all agree that killing the Scion is not a bad idea. Fantastic. Okay, now, I'm thinking of moving my artillery mech over here, right? Firing into this position, which will push him over there, but that will move the damage onto the electrical grid, which isn't ideal. And, oh, we can do it the other way, like this. So there we go, we'll kill the bug and we'll move our tank out of enemy fire. Uh, and I think we're just gonna shoot you over one, really. Just like that, that's fine. Perfect. Two turns left to victory. Hopefully we get control of the tank soon. I think it's this turn that we should get it. Oh, he destroyed the mountain. They're going to take two hits before they break. Okay, he's going for the buildings. That makes sense. He's going for the buildings too. Okay, you're going for me, which is good. And you're going for the tank. So now we need to make a decision. We have to move three bugs and... Oof. Ah, there we go. We got the tanks. These are able to now push opponents one tile, which is really freaking useful. So for example, we can move this gent up here fire on that one, right? Then we can take our artillery. Oh wait, no, no, no. He was fine where he was. And shoot them this way. So we'll push one bug into the water, kill that one, and he gets a ton of experience. Very nice. Alright, so you're just firing at me. Uh, we could bump you up one. That's not really ideal. We need to kill that one this turn. Hmm. I think we might just have to take a loss on the power there. Uh, yeah, I can't really see of anything going better than that, so we're actually going to bring him over here, kill that bug, and then I think there's no way we can push this down, eh? We could kill it. I mean, we are going to lose the power regardless, right? So we might as well take the bug out with it. Sorry, guys, I know that was friendly fire. Uh, oh, we still have an action available. Uh, oh, wait, shit, we could have bumped it twice. Whoopsies, I forgot about the action. Okay, now I'm not going to place the tank on there because it will die once those things come up, and honestly, it's more important to me that uh, they survive. Okay, we have blocked the enemy's approach, and also we've cleared the field quite nicely, which is which is good. Uh, we can use this to wipe them out using the mountain, and that's really it, isn't it, for the turn? I guess we just, yeah, end our turn. Sweet. That wasn't too bad, all things considered. Dr. Punchy says thorough. Dr. Punchy is correct. Region is secure, we saved 914 civilians. Region is secure, the VEC have been put down, the old Earth technology is up and kicking, couldn't have hoped for better. 
I, I know, right? It looks pretty good. Okay, we've got almost almost at the point of leveling up some of our mechs as well, which is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so now we need to decide if we want to go to the research center, nice and easy mission, or Colonial Park. Um, I think we're going to go for Colonial Park because we, we just lost a power point and we might be able to get it back. End the turn with less than four mech damage for another res uh, respect point and uh, protect the coal plant. All right, let's drop you guys in. Coal plant's all the way back here, so that's actually pretty nice. The mechs have landed. Okay, 100 people in the buildings make sure they stay safe. That's the plan. Okay, that's actually pretty beneficial because my plan was to... Do we... Are we able to mission you down? No. So I think we should actually... Oh, we can't kill it this turn because of this stupid thing. Hey. Um, idea though. Idea though. We shoot the mountain. Push him out the way. Right? Push you into that so you'll die next turn. And then we just bump this one out the way as well. Perfect. And this is interesting, when these VEC lose the bonus that they have gained from the Scion, they will actually die. That extra health point is added on sort of afterwards, so their main health gets damaged first and then the bonus health. Which is a nice little balance because it's quite powerful otherwise. Oh god, there are a lot of them coming in. Okay, so we're going to want to... Yeah, we're going to want to do something like this, I'm thinking. Yeah, just like that, we'll move him over, kill that one. And then... I'm going to bring this tank forward, just so he's a bit more useful. Okay, he's going to take some damage. Uh, boom, boom. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we've got nothing too serious. No Scions, that's good. God, I hate the Scions. <laughs> uh, let's just make sure nothing's attacking. Ooh, buildings, okay. That's good, that's really good. So, we can actually make use of... If we just move out the way, he'll hit our artillery, but artillery can take the shot and survive. So what do we actually want to do? I think what we should do here is something a little sneaky, which is move the artillery here, push this dude into the water. Bye bye. Good night. Uh, bring him. Oh, we can't move him, can we? Because we've got to take that hit. Shit. Uh, we can move him back though, so he takes one hit, which is probably the best move here. Yeah, we're gonna move you forward as well. You can kill that. And then I think we're going to bring you back and just shoot this guy for one damage. Yeah, you're just going to have to take the hit, mate. Sorry. Okay, thankfully no buildings damage in that turn. And the next one is our last. Uh, we should be able to kill at least one or two more of these Vec before the turn ends. Remember, our mission here is to take as little mech damage as possible. But I think we'll be okay in that regard. Um, oh, that one's not attacking at all. That's a bit stupid of it. Okay, well, we can, we can deal with a lot of this pretty easily here. So... So, I'm thunking at present, right, move you over here, shoot this one away, move him here, shoot, oh shit, underneath, can you go there, you can, okay cool, push him into the water, bye bye, and then just bring you over here, and get you out the way, yeah, there we go, almost a perfect round, very nice. Didn't get as many kills as I would have liked, but you know what? It's fine. Hopefully in the next uh, mission we should get ourselves our first Tide Pod. And uh, that, that gives us some pretty sweet bonuses. Okay, cool. Let's hit continue. And Restoration Center Remembrance Point. Um, I'm kind of cool. Let's, let's go for the satellite launches. It's a really cool mission. I really like these ones. So let's drop these guys in. So of course, as you know, SpaceX will make it through the apocalypse. And that means we need to protect their little Falcon 9s that are coming out of the silos. Ooh, the first Tide Pod has arrived. Okay, we're gonna go rescue that one. And if you're wondering, no, I will not stop making those jokes. Soz! Okay. This is a bit jank. So right now, right now, I'm thinking, right? Um, probably move you up there, push that one over. Uh, you could bump him over with this one. See, he's, he does two damage, I believe, yeah, to a tile. So he'll kill our, he'll kill this mech if he hits it. Because I wanted to fire into this position, which would bump him, doing one damage, doing one Actually, that wouldn't do enough, so maybe not. Huh. What's our best move, guys? What's our best move? Our best move is to push this guy one move this way, right? Yeah, very much so. So we're going to bring up this mech here. We're going to do... Oof. 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 
can't decide. Uh huh. Let's undo that. Let's think about this. This guy needs to get moved out the way. So maybe we bring this mech here, bump him one so he's no longer attacking those various craft, right? Then, 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 how do we do this? We move old, we move old Steve here down, put him on that, that'll stop that from coming through next turn. This can take two hits before it breaks. So perhaps allowing it to take one hit is just something we're gonna have to deal with because we do need to get away from those forests. So I'm guessing, I'm thinking that's just maybe what we're gonna have to deal with here. Yeah. That's just the way it's gonna have to be, unfortunately. But he will die now when this one comes up, which is nice. And prevents another enemy from spawning. These alpha um, hornets are bloody nightmarish to use. Oh god, I hate them. Okay, thankfully we will be able to bump him down again. Uh, like we did before. So we can bring you here. Move him out the way. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this, to be honest. Okay, so now this thing's going to launch in the next turn, which will deal fatal damage to the tiles around it. And we can see here, it is going to launch after the enemy's attack. So, we really, really, really do not want to be in range of its weapons when it fires. So I'm thinking, right, now we could move it here, but that'll kill the satellite. Uh, none of this is particularly good for me. Hmm. Wait a minute. There's another option. We're going to have to reset the turn for this one, though. Oh, this is a bit more of a complex mission. So we could bring our artillery here, fire into this position. He'd move over, do one damage to that. He'd move over, miss everything, right? But that would allow us a small measure of leeway, because we could use... Can this tank get on that side? Ah, oh, no, he can't. You see, that's the big problem, because we can't take two damage to the, to the power grid. We just we won't survive it. Um, okay, I think he's going to actually have to do what he did anyway. Oh, fuck. There's just no good wins on this one. Um, there's no way we can push him back. No. Can't kill him this turn, could we? Because if we just move out the way, he hits the power plant. Hmm. Would have been nice if they were on these tiles, to be honest. Uh... The vet will spawn after, yeah, after that NPC emerges. Hmm, too bad that took a hit because we could have killed one of them with it. I'm wondering here what our best move is going to be. Okay, I think we're going to have to, we wasted our reset. I think we're going to have to go with this. Push him down, alright. Move, this guy can't go up then. Shit. Can you move here? We can, but then it'll destroy the satellite. Oh, they've got me so bloody screwed. <laughs> um, wait, this is there is there. There may be hope yet. Move him there. Move him there. Yeah, we take one hit to the power grid, but we don't die. Ugh. Oh, I hate it, but it's what we're gonna have to go with. At least the satellite gets off. We get our. We get our. Uh, our, our reputation point. Oh, the power grid though. It's fine, as long as the coal plant doesn't get hit, we're back where we were before. Oh, fuck a scion. Ugh. Okay, are you leaving this turn? No. Hmm, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Probably... We're gonna have to move him over one, right? That's a given. But first we have to deal with this thing. Can we move him over one? We can. If we go... If we go here... We can push this one over one. Right? He will kill... That guy. Oh, it's the pen. Which order do they move? Yeah, he's gonna go first. He's gonna kill this thing. Which is good. Uh, so then... Our best bit. If he's gonna kill that thing, then this thing will die if we damage it now. But we do want to deal with that. And oh god, we can't. And oh, I fucked it, haven't I? Um, we may just have to lose the power plant on this one. Yeah. I'm not seeing it turning out much better for us than this. So I guess we just stop Vec coming in. And we use Stevie Boy here to shoot that one over one. And 
you're not launching this turn, right? No, you're launching next turn. Okay, those are all our moves. Oh, oh, you've still got an action, do you? Um, we could just kill this thing. Uh, that's not even a problem. Uh, yeah, you're credit to the Reforker, Dr. Pudgies. <laughs> yes, Dr. Pudgies is a credit. Oh, he's been promoted as well. Okay, cool, that did work. Nice. Oh, we lost the power. Fuck. It is a shame. Hopefully the satellite we can protect. Come on. Yes. Okay, cool. They're attacking my mechs. That's that's actually best case scenario for this. Um, so I need you here so that you can move this guy again. Just dick him around one last time. Uh, you need to come here. Kill that thing. Get some points. And you can come here and you know shoot that into the ruins of the power plant. Perfect, and I don't think we're going to lose anything more. That was a bit spicy though, wasn't it? Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, let's, uh, Silo's going to take off. Nice, we weren't able to kill any vet with it, which is a shame. I've usually been pretty lucky with that. Um, unfortunately, positioning this time was just kind of cool. That Alpha Hornet really doesn't help. Unfortunately, we did fail on that cold plant, but we did promote our uh, gentleman, and we got our Tide Pod. Let's eat it up. So we have boosters. Anybody can push it. That's pretty awesome. And a reactor core. Ooh, required power is free. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so his his um, ability is to increase the grid defense by 3%. Now, since we've been digging around and fighting things, um, it, it's kind of an inevitable that uh, the Vec will just win the rest of the island and uh, permanently destroy it, as you can see by the Vec. We couldn't do anything about it. And now they are assaulting the corporate headquarters, which is sort of the final wrap-up for the island. But before we go in there, I think we should um, definitely install our boosters and their free thing, and I think we're actually going to go buff him and give this guy some health. He doesn't seem too happy about it, apparently, but that will allow him to jump around, and, that's right, he's also got a bit more staying power, plus armor. He's going to be quite tanky. Destroy the beetle leader, protect the corporate tower. Okay, well, we don't really have a choice on this one, so we're going in hard. I think we're going to drop our big mech that side and artillery, of course, again, from the back. The corporate tower is all the way in this corner, which is really nice. Usually it's pretty central and in an awful position. Okay, so he's going for these things, which is actually kind of brilliant, and I'm going to show you why now. Uh, it's a bit bizarre, but this is this is actually a bit of an odd omission on their part, because these so these beetle things attack in a straight line. And once they attack audio, he's going to go first, and he'll, he will... Yeah, he's actually going to kill this. We just knock him down one. Um, put him over there, and boom, he's gonna wipe that thing out. Then, the attack order is one, two, three, yeah. So then, our best bet is probably to, you can't move too far, I'm gonna bring you here. Push this one over just in case. Just in case. I mean, I know it's not the case, but just, just in case. Uh, then we're actually gonna get you, move here, and make him shoot at a mountain. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I screwed it up, screwed it up. Oh, uh, why did I do that? That was so stupid. Oh uh, shit. Maybe we should just take the power hits and let him knock that. Yeah, we can do it this way. Okay, you punch him down. You come. Um, so yeah, come here still. Move him over one. And in turn. Okay. Beautiful. And yeah, you're gonna lose some power there. That's okay, but you will stop the deck coming up. The real thing here is we have to stop the uh, corporate tower from being damaged. With. Reputation points are very useful. Power can be rebought, reputation cannot. Uh, okay, so what's our next move? Could bump this dude down one, but we lose more power then. That's not really ideal, is it? Um. What is our best bet here? You can come there. That won't stop the armor. That will you will be set on fire as well, which isn't great. Huh. We'll stop that vec coming in. Mm -hmm. I don't love that. I do not love that. Okay, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? I move him out the way, he says this thing will hit that line, and that's that's not okay. So he is going to have to come here set himself on fire, punch that one, which will deal a further three damage to it. Yeah, I think I'm seeing how we're gonna have to do this. He's gonna have to do punches on this guy. This one here is going to come, fire on this one. 
Perfect, he's out of the forest now, he is still on fire, unfortunately. We can uh, heal him um, in the previous one, which will, uh, in the next turn, which will, you know, heal the fire damage on him. But, oh, shit, and now this thing... Yeah, that was a bad situation, unfortunately. We are just going to take the hit on this one. So the question is, do we use... We're going to have to take the hit here. So, is there no way we can move him? No. No, there isn't. Okay, so we're going to... I think we're just going to forcefully take the hit ourselves. Yeah, as shitty as it is. And that's just going to... And we've killed the beetle lead already, which is a huge plus. Oh, here come the baddies. Okay, and the one vec- that guy spawned on fire as well, so he's burning up at present, which is awesome. Okay, so you are- uh, all of you guys are threatening various strategic points here. So if we bring you- we're still on fire, which is a bit lame. Can we jump here? Right, we can. Which will do a lot to move things out the way. Nice. Then, we need only, oh, right, if we bring you here, and do this, perfect, and that'll stop both of those, that one will take some fire damage as well, which is always good, and we can actually bump this dude over one as well, oh shit, more power damage, I forgot about that, <laughs> no, I pushed him out the way, and we've used our reset, we're just gonna have to take it, uh, I, I don't think we're going to make it very far past this mission, but we only have to survive one more turn, and we just can't lose another power, then we lose for good. Oh, shit. At least no more Vec will be able to come in, uh, which should help us survive this. Okay, cool. That mountain turned to dust. Locked an enemy. And he's going to move up. He's going for that one. He's moving up. He's going for that one. That's good. That's good. We can work with that. Okay, in fact, you will actually be able to kill both of these assholes off with one shot. And voila. I think that should end the turn. I've never actually managed to kill all the Vec before on the end of my turn. That, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's end it there. Yes. Oh, he took more damage. Nice! We did it! Okay, we did it, but we have one power spare, which is <laughs> which is a bit janky. Um, I don't think we're going to win that. But anyway, I can show you guys how the spending of reputation goes. So we're going to... Decide which weapons we're going to take. Uh, we can drop smoke, which is kind of cool because that disables um, five tiles anywhere on the map. Oh, and it's not even done by the unit. That's cool. Uh, we've got Gemini missiles. Launch two missiles, damaging and pushing two targets. Damage three, use for battle one. That's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, but it's two power. Ooh, that's a lot. We could buy that and two of these. Hmm. What does acid do? Deploy a tank that can apply acid to targets. Acid is like a turn-based damage thing, basically. Also two power. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Three damage, though. Uh-huh. Now, I wonder, is it always in those two positions? Screw it, we'll find out, right? Uh, let's buy two of these. I mean, we're not going to make it through this, so... Let's just go ahead and throw that on. Install two power calls and power up these Gemini missiles. And let's also test the mech. So this is the, um, you can sort of test out the units uh, that you want to use. So now we can see, okay, so it is always in that spread. Ugh, that's a bit lame. Uh, just a touch, so we can actually, let's try and set this up properly, shall we? Yeah, you go that way. All right. And then I think we fire, what do these Gemini missiles do? Three damage and they push. So we really actually want to be coming this way to fire something like the Gemini missiles. So like you would want to be there and then yeah, you hit both of those. That's actually kind of a shitty weapon, isn't it? And we've already spent it now, so it's not like we have a choice. Uh, oh, I thought we only had one use per turn. I suppose this is just the simulations. Um, we can slide them off onto the ice. Uh, and I think we'll actually be able to destroy ice if we shoot it. Yes, you can actually destroy ice. If you shoot it enough. Bye bye. Bring him over here. Hey, you're supposed to be walking, bro. Get walking. Get Christopher walking. Actually, we want to be like there, so we could potentially yeah do that. 
Hey, and then you know you're done testing. Okay, so that's that's how the testing works. This has been Into the Breach by the developers of FTL. If you guys would like to see more of this game, and I'm pretty sure you would, we probably might have to start a new one here. Uh, let me know. We can play with a different mech set even. And uh, I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. And as always, subscribe. Cheers.